These are Pacific sori, the representative fish of autumn that Japanese people love. And they are the easiest fish to cook. Why the easiest? I'll tell you in a minute. Okay, let's go. Hi everyone. How's it going? First, use a knife to scrape the surface of the fish to remove dirt and small scales. Excuse me? Oh, you notice those holes in their bodies. Those are the bite marks of Caligus macrovi. They parasitize the surface of the sori's body, but they come off when the fish is landed and there is apparently no harm in eating them. I think it's amazing that such a tiny creature, only about 5 millimeters long, can bite a swimming sori. Next, push the fish's belly towards its anus to release feces. There isn't much feces. There was quite a bit of feces coming out of this small fish. This large guy had an almost empty stomach. Then wash them with running water. Now I'll tell you the secrets of Pacific Sori. You usually remove the internal organs from fish, right? Pacific Sori does not have a stomach or a long intestine. The mechanism is that what they eat is immediately excreted. All you have to do is push the stomach to let out the remaining feces like Cinnapon did. In fact, some people eat the innards after cooking. Wipe off the water from the fish. The basic preparation is done. Sprinkle some salt on the right side of the fish. I think the right amount of salt is just the amount you feel is a little too much. Then flip them over to do the same on the other side. This side will be facing up when serving. In Japan, there is a custom of serving the fish with the head on the left, and the belly towards you. When grilling fish, keep that in mind and decide which side to face up. Put them on a fish grill and heat for 10 minutes. By the way, this is a double-sided grill. If your grill is one-sided, flip them over halfway through. While the fish is grilling, Make some grated daikin radish for the garnish. Please peel the skin before grate it. By the way, in Japan Pacific Sori is always a hot topic in the fall. This is because Pacific Sori is the representative taste of autumn. People love these fish. I also mentioned in our Benito video that the names of fish are often expressed with a single kanji character. You might have seen a teacup like this at a sushi restaurant. Each kanji character represents the name of a fish. And these kanji characters consist of two parts. The left part is a fish, and the right part often represents the characteristics of that fish. Here is an example. Fish. And flat. Can you guess what this is? The answer is... Flounders. Then Pacific Sori should be written like this. Fish and autumn. No, it isn't. That is for another fish. In the case of Pacific Sori, it is expressed with these three characters. Autumn. Knife. And fish. Yes, they are the autumn fish after all. Drain some water and form it into a cone shape. A ball is fine. Are they good? I think I can give a B plus. Add a little soy sauce on it. 
I hope you enjoyed our video. Thank you very much for watching and subscribing to our channel. We hope to see you in the next video.